All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to part three of the full series of the as-built plans, okay? Um, in order to make this into more of a project, in case you didn't want to make plans for your own home, uh, I've decided to do a little bit more as far as the rooms go and where the windows and doors are. We're going we're gonna to just do the entire project if you wanted to follow along with my numbers, okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to create all these different boxes. Let's just assume that when I was out there measuring uh, all the different rooms, length, width, height, you know, whatever, um, that this is what I wrote down, okay? So go ahead and create boxes that are, you know, these different sizes. So I'll do those boxes with you. You're going to use a rectangle. You're going to click down anywhere, and you're going to do at 5 feet 10 and 1 quarter, comma, 6 feet. And that's the size of the master bath. Now you then would take a label and put that inside that box. All right. Uh, the master closet is the exact same size. So if you want, you can just copy and paste that one and put it right next to it. Okay. We're working outside of our drawing here, um, but we'll move them in when we, when we need to. All right. This closet that was next to bedroom number two. Bedroom number two was down here. That closet is actually split in half. There's going to be a line down here, and this is going to be a coat closet when you walk in the front door. And the other side is a closet that opens up to uh, the actual bedroom, okay? So I probably should have broken those up into two like I did here, um, but I did not. Okay, so that's okay. We'll do that later. Um, all right, so that closet is two feet one and a half by six feet six. So create a box at two feet one and one half, comma, Whoops. Let's try that again. At two feet one and one half, comma, six feet six. So you get a box like that. You put closet in there. You can put the dimensions if you want. We're going to need those later anyways. Um, I suggest using different colors and different layers. This is on my text layer, okay? And if you don't uh, remember how to add layers, you would just go to the layer properties here. Uh, I've got a bunch of layers, but you don't have to have that many. You can do new layer, and then you just name that layer. You change the color of the layer, what, what you want it to. I just have text as yellow, room label is purple, or magenta, or whatever color that is. Um, walls are automatically blue, windows are green, doors are, I'm sorry, walls, walls like a light blue. Uh, windows are green, and doors are like a dark blue, okay? So let's continue. Another rectangle here, this one, this bedroom two, is 11 feet five by 10 six at 11 feet 5 comma 10 feet 6 okay so it's basically just that so now let me zoom into these so you guys can see the actual sizes and you know if you want to pause right now and get that size make that box label it and then if you want to pause again get the size of the office just make boxes for these sizes uh, the utility and bath one this is five feet wide seven feet eight and one half five feet zero and one half seven feet eight and a half okay so make sure when you're typing it that it is going to be at five feet zero and one half that you put the width first then comma and you do the length okay so that's pretty much it for that um closets okay one of them is two foot one by two five one of them is two foot one by five okay so we're probably going to end up doing the same thing on this one let's see what size this is uh, let's see, we have a height of 6 feet 6. Again, I was making this up, so there was nothing special about this. But let's see, if we went 5 feet, that would only leave us 1 foot 6. And we want there to be a bigger... So we're going to go 4 feet. And I'm going to put a line here. And I'm going to offset 3.5. Whoops. and trim now i have two different ones um, and you're going to have two different dimensions here so one is going to be by four feet and the other one is going to be by two foot six not a big size closet there but not bad all right so you got all your boxes now we're ready to go so just like in the last video, you're going to take this master bath and you're going to move that into the bottom left corner. You want to work around and do all the exterior rooms first and then like the offices in the middle. So you would do that one last. Okay. 
Um, let's see, we've got master closet. We take this, we move it, put that in this corner. We have, oh, where's the master bedroom at? I guess we didn't do the master bedroom or I left it over here. I'll tell you what size that is right now. And I actually don't dimension these in order to get the the accurate size if when you're working this way like when you're doing the design of it because 12 feet is it's probably true but sometimes it rounds it to that closest quarter of an inch based on our dimension settings so what I do is I'll draw a line across and go to properties and then you'll see that it says length is 12 feet so now I know it's 12 feet okay um, same going the other way. I just I want to draw a line. I want to get as accurate as possible because they don't round these numbers. This is 15 feet eight and a half. There are times when you go to dimension that way, and it'll say 15 feet eight and a quarter, or 15 feet eight and three quarters, or something like that. If it's rounding the wrong way, all right. So let's put our text in there. Master bedroom. That was a width of 12 feet, I believe. And the height was 15 feet, eight and a half. Fifteen feet eight and one half inch. Okay, so now you got all your boxes. All right, I'm also gonna do a quick, I'm on the wrong layer here, so I'm gonna go back to my wall layer which for me is right there and I'm going to do a match properties and match my blue to my blue all right so now we're good okay so again that was 12 feet by 15 feet eight and one half all right so now the master taking that grabbing it from the bottom left that's the exterior of the house click it right here but there is a 3.5 inch wall between there because remember when you're doing your as built you went around and you measured the thickness of a wall whether you're doing that in a door frame or you're doing it like in a in a walkway you know or in the uh in a, somewhere else in a closet anywhere you're getting the thickness of those walls just to make sure that they are three and a half inch walls so what that means for me is i'm going to move this 3.5 okay uh next one is going to be bedroom number one is it one which one goes in the top left? Bedroom number one. That's going to be these numbers. And you're going to move that from the top left corner, which I missed. That's going to go right here. And you can see there's 3.5 between there. I could measure it, but I'm pretty sure that it's accurate. Okay. Um, also, again, I keep making this mistake. These are not dormer roofs. And they're not going to be an A-frame roof, e roof either. Uh, in this, again, I'm designing this, and it's not my house. So I didn't really know what I wanted to do with it. But here's the different roof types. This is good to talk about, okay? The main roof is going to be a gable roof, okay? So that's gonna, there's going to be a big ridge going down the middle, and it's going to be a gable that's going across this way, okay? Uh, it also could have been a hip roof, but I didn't really like that idea, so I didn't want to do that, all right? A hip roof looks like this okay it's it's got roofing or shingles on all four sides and you've got um you know these rafters that are coming in on four corners okay um if you had a hip and valley roof it would be a hip roof with a valley roof coming into it what we're going to have is we're going to have a gable and a valley roof we're going to have a valley roof on the left side a valley roof on the right side and then we're going to have one off the back and it's going to look exactly like this okay um, other than that some of these roofs are not really worth talking about um, you know, they're not as common. Okay, so we're going to close that. We don't need that anymore. Um, and let's put the rest of our stuff in here. So if you had these already set up out here where this is 3.5 and this is 3.5, let's do another match properties. Uh, you can actually just take those and move those from, why does that seem like that's not going to line up? Oh, that's the one down here. Yeah, you're going to grab that and move it to there okay that doesn't make any sense I think I had the position off of these closets so it actually should have been up there all right so that should be there uh, the office we are ready for that now if we want we can move that from the top left corner and you can see that the top left corner of the office is going to share the same wall as the master the bottom part of the master so you're going to go like this you're going to take this and move this 
3.5. Okay, so now the office is in its right place. So basically, you'll come in like this double door here. If you turn left, you get to the master. Um, I haven't decided if I'm going to put an opening for the office there or not. Maybe two openings. Or if it's just going to be around the far side. i got to think about that. But you have a hallway going this way. you got your coat closet. Uh, this closet is just a closed wall, but it's open to the bedroom. Um, and then you come around. You're going to have your kitchen over here. And let's just get these out of the way. Move those. Again, I have 3.5 there, 3.5 here, and 3.5 here already. If not, you want to set that up first because you can't move them all in the same time if you don't. Uh, now we're going to take all of these. It just saves it later because you don't have so many moves to do when you do that. It's going to go 3.5 over. Okay, so we've got that set up. Now, utility is going to be washer, dryer, hot water, heater, furnace. Um, you got another bath over here that's going to serve these bedrooms and for your main guests. And you're going to have the bathroom back down here for the master. Okay, so you're at that point. All right. Um, now, the next thing you want to do, I'm actually going to do a match properties of... Nah, you know what? Let's leave it. I'm going to go back over with my wall tool. So if I already drew walls and they are 8 foot tall walls and 3.5 and inches wide, okay, um, I'm going to do an add select on those and I'm going to start drawing my walls in. So you can see that that is clearly supposed to be like this, but it's going to go all the way to here because that's where the office ends. This would be an incorrect justification because it's coming into the room where I want it to be on the outside of the room. I don't want to make these numbers smaller by having the, the justification wrong. So it's going to be something like that. Okay. Now I can still go ahead and select this box because I didn't draw anything there yet. So that actually makes it easier. Um, and I can erase this one as well. But I'm going to take this one and I'm going to pull that up because they were in line with each other anyways. And you get something like that. Okay, some of this we did in the last video, but I, I wanted to make this into a full project that everyone could do by following the same exact numbers, just in case you didn't want to do the as built for your own home or for someone else's just yet. Okay, um, so let's take another wall. Let's do an add select. We're going to go here. Again, that's incorrect, so I'm hitting shift twice, and I'm going to put that wall across there. I do another add select. Uh, let's click this wall, add select. We're going to do a center justification, which is a one shift. And now we got to get those boxes out of there. So just like in the last video, hover over one of these walls and do a shift space. And you'll see it switches to the box behind there and you can hit delete. You don't want to leave extra lines everywhere because that's that just makes it very messy. Shift space, click, delete. So now that's all set up. Okay. Um, I actually have everything set up right now. We're just missing a couple labels. So what I would do is I'd copy... And you're going to make these look a little, little prettier too. Like try to center that underneath there and do that all the way around. I would do smaller text for closet if you want. You can see my text size here. I do for my room label, label seven inches. For the other text, I think it's four, right? But for the closet, you're probably going to want to just, um, you don't even have to put a measurement in there actually. It was, it was just to create that box. But you can actually get rid of the room label for that. Double click on your four inch tall text and call that closet and that's really all I label in my plans anyways is just say that that's a closet so you can get rid of this same thing closet 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 okay now this I thought I moved this there we go now this is not bedroom two this is called the kitchen obviously it's going to be a nice wide open kitchen coming from all directions. This is the living room and that's going to be the dining room. Now those all shared exterior walls, so I have no idea what size they are right now, but we're going to measure them in a second. Just making sure we're still recording. Good. All right, so now for this kitchen, I would probably draw a line from here. Well, if it's going there, let it go, but then click it again and come back. All right, so now my width is going to be that right there. Even though this bumps out, I'm going to count that as the dining room space. Uh, this is not the most accurate way to do it, but it, it does help. Um, and also sometimes on my plans, I don't even put the sizes because anyone who's looking at this digital file can just dimension it themselves. So sometimes I'll actually write like the floor type, like this is hardwood floor or, you know, uh, I don't know, ceramic tile, whatever it is you can put underneath there. 
Um, other, I'm not going to do that on this one though. Let's uh, let's continue that thought from before. 18 feet one and a half is my width. 18 feet one and one half inches. Now my height, I'd probably draw that from here because I think that's the separation between the kitchen and the dining room. Or if your cabinets go a little bit further into that room, I'd probably go off the end of the cabinets. Um, oh, before we do that, we got to do some walls here. So we're, we're working on three different ideas right now. So hold on one second. Let's grab a wall. Let's do an add select. We're going to put a wall down here. Now you see that that didn't open. So we're going to go like that. All right. Um, same thing. Add selected. Go like that. Go like that. Now let's get those boxes out of there. Shift space, click, delete. Shift space, click. Actually, those are just lines. I still have to put a wall there. Shift space, click. Nope. Delete. Delete. Now, just to make sure that I got everything out of there, I'm not sure if I did or not. Okay, so you can see I missed two lines on the closet there. Sometimes I erase things just to see what's behind it. Boom. Alright, so now we got that. So now, the height of the kitchen. Let's go back to this. Slide, click. This one's doing the same thing. It's always going to go to the baseline. So when that red line that we were drawing on the wall, that's what it's going to snap to. But you can always bring it back and you should get an intersection. As long as in OS Enter... You are, ooh, this period's going to end. i got to hurry this up. Um, you are, you have intersection, not intersection. Yes, intersection turned on and checked. Okay. All right, so now that height was, where's my properties? Right-click properties is 10 feet 11. So I can get rid of these. 10 feet 11. And now I have that one correct. Um, so I got to end this video, you know, I got classes coming in here, but we've got a couple more walls to draw. You got one here, you got one here. Let, you know what? Let's pause. We'll go into that in the next video rather than telling people to, to keep doing stuff off screen. Okay. So I appreciate you guys watching. Um, this is part three. We'll move into part four into the next video, hopefully tomorrow or the next day. And you guys, you feel free to just follow along with this one rather than doing your own home. That's totally fine. We can draw this together. I'm going to go through the entire floor plan, all the labeling. I'm going to go into creating the elevations. And I believe at the end, we're going to go into creating an actual 3D model of this home. Okay. So that'll be pretty fun. And that's something that I haven't shown yet on my channel. And hopefully you guys will enjoy that. All right. So thanks again for watching. I appreciate it. And I will see you in the next one. Catch